So in this video, I want to give you an introduction to RStudio. Specifically, I want to help you get comfortable with the environment, um, what some of these different windows are, um, as well as uh, introduce you to what are known as R scripts, which uh, we will be using primarily throughout this course. Um, so the first thing I want to sort of double down on is, um, as I mentioned in our download video, the R console is found uh, directly in R Studio, And so if we just wanted to quickly get started and maybe use R as a calculator, we could type in this window, labeled console, it's currently highlighted, click down here where this little triangle is, this sideways triangle, and we could start typing code. So real quick, we could do two plus two equals four, and we see the output uh, is shown right below uh, the command that we just typed in. Now, uh, this here, uh, this one, is referring to an index, right? So it tells us uh, the first, uh, or, or the position of the uh, first output on a given line. And so, uh, you know, when we sort of uh, go ahead and generate um, other uh, sorts of uh, code here, so we'll do... something like this, we see that um, not only do we have the one here referring to 2.0 being uh, the first entry on this line, but on the next line we see that 6.0 is going to be the ninth entry uh, in this uh, sort of string of numbers. 17, 10 is the 17th number here. And so we can double check that by quickly counting. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So when you see that number sort of pop up in those brackets, don't be spooked. It's just there to help us keep track of large amounts of numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and clear the console here. We can do that by doing Command L or Control L rather, Control L on both Windows and Mac. And we see that it's cleared uh, there. Now, uh, as I mentioned with the console earlier, um, while it's nice that we can get this line here, I can't go up and try to edit this uh, sort of command that I just gave R. So this 2 plus 2, I can't change it to 2 plus 3. And so if I wanted to uh, sort of go ahead and do a new command, I'd have to write it on a new line um, from scratch. So one way to sort of get around this is by using a handy tool in RStudio called an R script. So what we can do is come up to the top left here. There's this little white looking paper with a plus sign. We can click on that and then we can go ahead and create a new R script right here. So we're going to see a new window pop up here. Um, it's going to be called Untitled 1. But this here is almost like a mix between a Word document and the console. So in this case, we can go ahead and write whatever we want in a given line, hit enter, and it's not going to run that code. So if I come down here in the console and do that, write this here, and then hit enter, it's going to turn some sort of error because it's looking for all of these things to already be defined. And so we can write all of this code up here and then decide when we want to run it. So we can do that by going ahead and, uh, you know, selecting everything by doing Command A or uh, select all and click run. And we see, well, you know, we get the same error. But what's nice about the R script is we can decide when we want to run the code and we can go back and change any parts of uh, a given line before running it again. So let's say I wanted to do two plus two up here and then go ahead and click run, it pops up down here that we ran two plus two, and then we got the output four. But now let's say I wanted to go back and change that line. Well, I can come up here quite easily, just change two to three and run it again, and we'll get our output down here. And so we can do all sorts of different things here where um, we can sort of build up these large complicated scripts 
uh, in our scripts that we couldn't do in the console easily.